the development of computers is categorized by generations. Professionals in the field of computer science do not agree on the exact dates or specifics of each of the generations. In this lesson, we will discuss the various generations of computers. Notably, with each generation of computers, there has been remarkable improvement in hardware, speed, and reliability. The first generation computers were very large in size, they occupied whole rooms. They used vacuum tubes as the electronic components. Magnetic drums were used for internal storage. Punch cards were used to input data into the computer. They used machine language. They were mainly used for scientific calculations and were available to mainly researchers and scientists. First generation computers consumed a lot of power. They were very expensive to operate. They generated a large amount of heat and required frequent maintenance The second generation computers were smaller in size than the first generation computers. They used transistors as the main electronic components. Transistors consumed less power than the first generation computers and were more reliable than vacuum tubes. Second generation computers still generated a lot of heat and required frequent maintenance they used magnetic cores and magnetic tapes for inputting and storing data. High-level programming languages such as COBOL and Fortran were introduced during this period. Second-generation computers were still inaccessible to most people. Examples of second-generation computers were Univac 3 and IBM 1401. Third-generation computers were much smaller and more reliable than the second-generation computers. They used integrated circuits as the main electronic component. They used the keyboard as the main input device and the monitor as the main output device. Third-generation were available to more people. They used high-level programming languages, for example, COBOL, BASIC, Pascal, and Fortran 2, 3, and 4. Fourth generation computers were smaller and cheaper than computers in the earlier generations. They used a microprocessor as the main electronic component. This was a large scale integrated circuits, abbreviated as the LSI. This microprocessor had several hundred thousands transistors placed on a tiny silicon chip. They used magnetic disks, optical disks, hard drives and flash memory media for data storage. They used input and output devices, such as keyboard and mouse. Fourth generation computers were energy efficient and highly reliable. They were run on sophisticated operating systems and improved programming languages. They also had an expanded storage capability. They used programming languages such as C, C++ and C++. Fourth generation computers were highly accessible to more people in households, in schools and at the workplace.
the development of the fifth generation computers is still in progress. They are highly portable, meaning that they can easily be carried from one place to another. They use ultra-large scale integration circuits as the main electronic component. They also use artificial intelligence, which refers to the science of developing machines that mimic human behavior. They have a highly expanded storage capacity. They use input and output devices that allow transfer of data in the format of text, sound, still images, animated images, and video. They are extremely reliable, and highly efficient. They run on highly sophisticated programs. They use highly advanced programming languages such as Python, R, C Hash, Java, and JavaScript. Fifth generation computers are available in homes, schools, and at the workplace. They are also integrated into electronic equipment such as home appliances, cars, and industrial machinery.